Welcome to Louisiana Heartbeats. I'm Sudi Landry, your host. And today, as you can see, we have a special guest with us, too, in fact. Well, there's a festival coming up, and these are the ladies that's going to tell you what it's all about. And be sure to mark your calendars, because she has a lot of great information. Welcome to the show, Teresa and Chelsea. Hello. Teresa, you want to start off by really just sharing with us who you are. Uh, well, uh, I live in Scott, and most people who know me know that I live in Scott, uh, and they laugh about it sometimes because I'm always pushing my city. But beyond that, uh, I also am a member of a few boards, and uh, I had been the editor for the Great Scott Herald, which went out in Scott for 10 years, wow. and uh, mm, about a year ago became part of the Community Chronicles which goes to four cities. We did a little pilot and found out that it really gave our city and our vendor more exposure to go outside the limits of Scott. Wow. So we're really proud of that. And we have partnered together to produce for the past, this is the second year that we have produced, the Scott Boudin Festival Special Edition. And what's so nice is that the festival has been out for three years. This is the third year. And uh, it is um, April 10th, 11th, and 12th, and we have some really great things that uh, uh, it provides our city. And um, one of the things that we have with the festival is our pageant. And so we have our top special queen, who's actually also from Scott, Chelsea Noel. And uh, Chelsea can tell you a little bit about what she does and her background and all about volunteering, which I'll be doing too. All right, well, our festival is April 10th, 11th, and 12th, and we actually had a pageant and have several queens. I am the Miss Queen and I have, oh my God, almost 10. 10. I think there's 10 of us. Are there boys too? There's one boy, yeah. Okay. We have a teen, a Miss, Deb Jr., and then a bunch of little baby ones. Um, and you can see all of us at the festival that weekend. Um, Friday night is actually family night, so it's free admission. Yes. And um, there's, I think, a carnival for the kids to ride. They have a special price on the carnival Friday night, too. Yes, they Five dollars less than it would be normally for a bracelet to get all the rides you want to have. That is true. So, come and uh, enjoy those rides. And then, if you're interested in volunteering and helping make it all happen, if you go to the website at www.scott.com, BoudinFestival.com. You can click on the volunteer tab and sign up to volunteer. And by doing that, you get a free festival t shirt, uh, free food tickets, a parking pass, which is really awesome for oh, that, that weekend. Is. Yes. And um, let's see what else. Get uh, something else. Meet lots of neat people. Yeah, and I think there's something else they give you. They give us something else. <laughs> trying to remember but it's a really fun and you just like pick a five-hour shift and you can choose where you work and who you if you get somebody to sign up with you it'll be super fun and then you can stay and enjoy the bands we have a great lineup planned so including chubby carrier who won an emmy award if mm -hmm. i no a grammy award yeah. and so that's really special he was there last year too that kind of that wow and you said the first year it was over 10,000? Over 10,000. And the second year, it was still over? Still over 10,000. I believe the first year actually might have more people. Okay. Well, maybe because the over weathermen did not cooperate yes, with us last, last year. year. We was, had hardly any rain. We still had a lot of people, but the, the broadcasters kept saying, Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, it's going to rain. It did not rain in Scott. So, hey, it might have rained somewhere else, but not Scott. It rained all around us, but... <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's why we... You know what I think is important is to let people in the Acadiana know that this little festival is in a very small area. Don't let that stop you from coming out. What you do is you maybe carpool or you have someone drop you off. Please carpool. It is worth the trouble, and if it's over 10000 they yes. attended the first and second, and this is the third. It's the third year, and we're expecting even more. Even more. It's the weekend after Easter, so everybody yes. will be ready to have a very good time. So it sounds like me, you could use some volunteers since we it's could. that many people coming out. And oh, you yes. don't have to stay at the festival all day. You know, there's other things going around the city, too, and we don't want to discourage, you know, spreading the joy. But 
The festival is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you can do something else. And you know, if you have a bracelet, you can come back. That's awesome. For that That's day. awesome. As long as you keep your bracelet on, you can come into the fairgrounds and leave. So. You yeah, know what? For that I'll, day. You know but how you I found won't... out about the festival for the very first time, the very first year? I just happened to be on a street near the neighborhood where it was happening. <laughs> and and it was called the first first one. And what happened is, you no, know, everybody was parking up, getting permission to park mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. And that worked out pretty good. And the, my friend that really wanted to go ended up not going. She got blocked in. She forgot oh. that she needed to move her car before she told everybody else they could park. But that's okay. It worked out really good. So somebody replaced her for sure, you know. We don't have to leave to go anywhere, though. We have drinks and food. Um, we have five boudin vendors in Scott, so they'll have their boudin for you to try. And then we have several other uh, food vendors that will be selling food as well. So Right. Last year they had some fried catfish. Yes. Oh. Well, it's excellent. Excellent. Like good food yeah. while we at it. There's, um... Did yeah. you eat? Did you get a chance to eat, Chelsea? God. Yes, <laughs> boot in. so good. Boudin, boudin. And they have lots of different kinds too. We have some very innovative boudin vendors. That There's make... boudin burgers, boudin balls with cheese, um, seafood mm. boudin. Let's see what else. Uh, uh, I've eaten some of that Scott beignets boudin. Beignets there. Oh, awesome, tasty. I think we have beignets, French fries. They have everything, jambalaya normally. They do, they do. So, it's, uh, and it's, it's not just boudin. Really a very family friendly, we like to yes. you know, push that it's a very family friendly uh, uh, venue. And uh, like we said, that on Friday night, everybody gets in for free. And if you want rides, they're only $20 for the bracelet to ride all the rides that you want. There's two shifts of, of um, rides on Saturday. Okay. Two shifts. There's a more like a, a, a daytime shift and a nighttime shift. Okay. I don't know if they do that. Uh, if, if you look for this, you'll find I'm this almost everywhere around town. And if you're interested in finding out about the rides and things, that's on the last page right here. What is the name of that little magazine? This right is there? called the Scott Boudin Festival Special Edition. Of the Community Chronicles. Yes, and it's well, it's it doesn't it just has the the names of the papers very yeah. small. But the big thing is is the yeah. festival. Do you write for that uh, that magazine? I do, I do, and uh, it's always a lot of fun. Um, the the publication is very positive. Uh, we are not a we don't we don't dig up any dirt about anybody. We <laughs> just spread we just spread the good news. And Great, so and people can find this where local stores and things like that. Uh, yes, yeah. they can, and uh, the the Community Chronicles has the Community Chronicles masthead on. But right now, since this is coming up, and it's coming up fast, so what, April tenth? It's like three, and weeks, three and a half weeks. They would be really uh, benefit them if they would go somewhere and get a copy because it has all the schedules. Well, we it? left a hundred. Yes, it has the schedule. It has some um, advice as far as parking. Uh, it has information about all the queens, um, and we left a hundred at the uh, visitor center there oh, on good. Evangeline Thruway, so people can find out the. We had left fifty there before, and then one day they were out. That is wonderful. So we need to go back oh and check gosh. again. Right, and people do flock into Lafayette, and this is like one festival that was created. It's new. It's a baby in the making. It's already been very successful. It's it our has third been, year. It has been named by. You almost the, need to enlarge your town. <laughs> yeah, it has been named by the state, a, a judging group of the state, as the best new event in Louisiana of the year. Uh, by at the Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals convention. Uh, the Scott Boudin Festival won the Best New Event of the Year Award. Congratulations! Which is a huge honor. So. Congratulations to you for winning the title, and congratulations for the event winning its uh, notability. It took yeah. home a few other awards too. Yes, best wow. hair, yeah, best t-shirt, best t-shirt. <laughs> but wow! So, so I'm sure I may have missed it, but was there a boudin eating contest? Yes, there oh, is. Yes. There is. All I right. believe it's on Sunday. It is on Sunday. And uh, last year we had a Yankee win. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Actually, I think there's some huge prizes that go there along are. with that boudin contest. A lot contest. of money. What is last that? year? I know. Like, no, they're doing it again this year. There's some cash prizes, I believe. I think it was five hundred dollars. Oh, so exactly, last year. where is this going to be located? It's right by Scott City Hall. Okay. And there's a park across from City Hall. It's Memram Cook Park. 
which is named after the city that Scott twins with in Canada. Wow, okay. Yes, we have two twins. That is Memram Cook and St. Aubin in France. Well, you lost me on that one. I'll get that later. Okay. 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 And um, so anyway, the park will be full. The park grounds will be filled with festival rides and tents with Boudin. And then there's the huge parking lot in front of the Scott Emergency Center uh, building and City Hall are combined. It's a, it's a big spread. And we have a pretty big parking lot. We have a huge, good stage to show off all of our well, since musicians. We, since we're wonderful, okay, and I know that Chubby Carrier always has a good job. He's a wonderful person. He's very community connected, oh, yes. and if he can, he participates in a lot of awesome things right. to bring people to and this area. And you can go online and see who all of our musicians well, are. Along, uh, Chubby Carrier will be opening up at Friday, uh, Friday night at 6, and then we have Keith Frank that will come on at 8.30. Um, and then Saturday, we have Nickel Beer, Kevin Knockin, the Molly Ringwalds, and then uh -huh. little Nate closing out. So that'll be awesome. And then Sunday, we have Horace Stronghold, Gino Della Falls, and Wayne Toots. I was going to say. We'll close wow, out no Sunday. wonder you have all these people flock into that town. You want to give some uh, uh, tips about what you've come up about the parking? I think that would be good to be on here. When you come into <laughs> Scott... You, the main road that goes through that winds around in the city of Scott is St. Mary Street. And while the festival is going to be on the west side of St. Mary Street, if you're heading like from the traffic light on Cameron, there's a big parking area uh, off of a, if you turn down St. Louis to the east, which will be a right-hand turn, you'll come to Alfred and you turn north, which would be a left-hand turn, and it goes into our uh, baseball park, and there is parking there. There's a lot of parking there. You may not realize it, but it's on the opposite side of St. Mary from the festival. It's, Scott's not hard to walk through. It's not hard to ride a bicycle through. Very safe. Yeah, the only thing is trying to get safe. out of town is kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody's leaving. I see that you have a map in there, too, that might help. We do have yes. a map. It, it's on page, page three. three. Uh, just across from this, uh, the queen from last year. So anyway, just across from that, yeah, we have a little parking map. Yeah. There we go. Good, then if, so, they can, if they have one of these and they can get it one. It will help them. It'd sure be and there's nice. also um, this little image right here. We have little rack cards that are all around Scott at all the different businesses. So you can pick up one of those. Yes, like a push card. So oh. it'll be very convenient. Yeah. I want to go back to... When did you start wanting to be the queen of Scott? Well, my freshman year in high school, I competed for the title of Junior Miss Scott. Okay. And I actually won, and it was best experience ever. Um, the Scott Business, uh, Scott Business Association actually puts on that pageant. So I was able to represent the city and attend the different SBA functions and everything, and I really found a love for my city of Scott and then my so I gave up my sophomore year to another lucky girl and then my junior year I was ready to compete again for the title of Miss Scott which I did and I won again wow. so I was able to represent Scott once more and then myself my, my senior year I had to give it up again and I was really upset and I tried to convince the director to add another category or let me keep it but she said no so um, then I actually competed at Miss Louisiana Teen USA this year, representing the city of Scott. And then I was because I was Miss Scott the first year of the festival, I couldn't compete for the title. Of, oh. Okay. So and then because I was competing at Miss Louisiana, I couldn't compete for the second year. So here we are, the third year, and I was finally able to compete. Three's the charm. Yes. Wow. Not only that. You must have something they like. Everybody loves. Well, yeah. Chelsea's like the Scott poster girl. Yes. She what it also like. won last year's um, scholarship, did you not? Yes. From SBA? Um, the Scott Business Association actually gives out three scholarships, and I was awarded one of those. Well, congratulations on that. Definitely thankful for that. Okay, did I miss what school you attended? Um, I attended Lafayette High School, okay. and then I am now at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette majoring in nursing. 
Wonderful. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you have a very interesting and busy life. Uh, it's very, for a young very, person. very busy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that it is. Well, I'm sure Scott is very proud of you representing them and the Boudin Festival. Wow. Well, I'm very happy to be able to have this opportunity. Well, we're excited uh, that uh, Teresa was able to have you come in on the show today also. And I want to thank you. But I want to ask you, what is your passion? Okay, so you're the queen and you're, you're enjoying this moment. And you want to be a nurse. What are your plans for that? Where are you going to go with that? Well, right now, um, since I won the title two weeks ago, I actually am able to travel to different fairs and festivals and pageants across the state and represent my festival at those. So I think within the past two weeks I've already attended five events. Wow. It's wow. been a little but I've been to IOA to the Rabbit Festival pageant and Judge the Corn Festival pageant and Bunky. So I've already done a bit of traveling. Um, so that's what I'll do throughout the year. And then in February, next February, I'll represent the Boudin Festival at the Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals Convention and compete for the title of Queen of Queens. And we'll be wow. the first, uh, this will be the first year our queen can compete. Wow. So that's a really big honor. That's amazing. And that sounds like a lot of work. Yes. So you got to love what you're doing, huh? Yes. You're having fun too, though. Yes, I am. Yeah. Nothing like bragging and being proud of where you come from mm -hmm. yeah. and also holding all those titles. Got to share with everyone. And that's like. good. That's what it's about, you know, networking and sharing. And, and uh, Teresa. Yes. Do you travel around to some of these uh, events yourself or you just stay in Scott? Well, we know how you love Scott. Well, I'm, I'm volunteering for the, the festival. Um, I pretty well make it in to many different places. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, good. Well, uh, Chelsea, I want to ask you, did you, now I'm going back to the pageant thing, because it really takes work and grooming to get where you are. I know that through other people. So when did you first participate in a pageant? At what age? Uh, well, actually, I think I did one when I was a baby, but my sister did them when she was little, and she's five years older than me. And then the first one I did, it just didn't go well. So that was the first and last one. And then... Uh, when I was 14, my freshman year in high school is when I did the Junior Miss Scott, and that was my first one. Wow, you and just then, went straight to the big times. Well, hey. and then after, since I had to wait a year to compete for Miss Scott, I held the title of 2012 Teen Mr. Chapelai Basin Festival. Well, so. now I know you're proud of that. I know your school was proud of that. I know your parents are proud of that, yeah. and Scott's proud of that. This mm -hmm. is all great accomplishments. Wow. Do you mind me asking how old you are now? I'm 18. 18 and she's traveled all over the place a lot of places in two weeks and you haven't even done a year yet <laughs> Wow, so your schedule is already set for you. Do you know ahead of time? Where you're going for example here? We have the festival so you'll be doing something within the next week or two you have a schedule uh, Naturally, I know you do but where are you going? Uh, let's see. Do you know just one or two or just one? I think I have a calendar for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I do not know this off the top of my head. Well, how do you like to promote your, uh, uh, you yourself? Do you, when you're not wearing your crown, you're still the queen. Yes. Does, oh. Do you have a, Do you have, find it very easy just to kind of tell everybody, you brag about your, your, your town, and then somehow the, I just happen to be the queen comes up to you? No. How do you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you walk around without your crown and still talk about Scott? Yes. All right. That's what I want to know. home. There you go. Proud to be a part of it, huh? Yes. It's actually, um, it's just been where we've gone to church, school, everything. So it's our home. and So your family and your roots are from this area? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my parents are actually from Church Point, but they've lived in Scott's for about 30 years now. So after all of this and your reign is over, you'll concentrate on your studies of becoming a nurse. And Still then, concentrating on studies now. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. That's good, you have to. And then after that, then after that, you'll be pursuing a job. Do you plan on trying to stay in this area? You, um, yes, I actually, as a nurse? yes, I actually would like to be a registered nurse in the neonatal intensive care mm. unit. Um, I did an internship at Women's and Children's in the NICU there my senior year of high school and I absolutely fell in love with it. I did that through the um, Academy of Health Careers 
wow. program at Lafayette High. And that was one of the best experiences ever and I really fell in love with it. So now I'm majoring in nursing and I recently got a job at Women's and Children's in their pediatric department to get some experience. What a wonderful place to start and what a wonderful, I mean, we have wonderful hospitals in our area. Yes. We really do. And love babies. And they love have kids, a lot so. of babies over there too. A lot of people uh -huh. go there to have their babies. You know, of course we have other hospitals too. And uh, so you're going to specialize in just being able to to take care of babies? Well, I definitely want to work in some area of pediatrics. So, so that is your heart, but you'll yes. do whatever it takes, whatever comes up that you think you're led to do. What about you, Teresa? You're not only busy volunteering your services with this event now, but you also are part of AOC's uh, radio program here. I am, and we have a radio show that currently uh, is actually uh, broadcast through streaming every morning at 8 o'clock. It changes when the daylight savings time changes. Oh, okay, that's right. It's kind of interesting how that works. I think that somehow we're, we're under a different time umbrella. Maybe it's, you know, since it broadcasts actually worldwide, you know. Wow. Yes. And so uh, it airs uh, at 8 o'clock right now and at 7 o'clock every evening. And we mention Scott a lot, or at least I do. But, um, <laughs> That's okay. That's <laughs> all right. But That's anyway, right. Uh, it, it, we have a Facebook page called Morning Coffee on Cypress Street Radio. The show is actually called Morning Coffee. Uh, we play music and we talk about uh, events that are going, happening, uh, and different aspects of what life is like and what's happening in Louisiana. Would you like to put a shout out to what you're interested in getting on your show? Like, uh, have you been on her show, Chelsea? No, I have not. Well, we haven't had many guests on our show. Sometimes we have some people who come in and actually say hello to the people that are their families that might be all the way across the world. So they just get a little taste of putting those... Well, you have a variety of people, of topics that you yes. talk about. So I was just curious if that is just something that you look up yourself, resources and people, or you were looking for certain things to come on your show? We just try to make it service oriented so that we tell what's go. happening. And we go. don't have a lot of people come in where we're actually, um, we're actually recorded. And so that's why we have the encores. And as AOC gets more radio shows signed up, we expect that our time that is streamed will be reduced. But while we've got Thanks. as much flexibility as we have, we enjoy uh, spreading the word. Well, I had the opportunity and the honor to really, I showed up not knowing I was supposed to be on the show, really. But I just fell in love with you and the person with you. I'll let the it. voices were just awesome on the radio. And I enjoyed being there that day, listening to what you had to say that day. Now, right now, I couldn't tell you what it was, but <laughs> it was wonderful that day. Well, we have now, I think, about maybe two and a half minutes, three minutes the most in our show. Uh -huh. Is there something you would like to uh, cover before we start being told to close out? Um, I would just like to make invite everybody to come out to the festival, especially if you've never been to Scott. It's a wonderful community, and you'll love it as much as we all do. So just come join us April 10th, 11th, and 12th. Okay, and Ms. Teresa? Uh, I would like to say that um, the city of Scott at the last census was the second biggest city population-wise in Lafayette Parish. And that... Uh, what about all those awards real uh, fast? Uh, the second best place to live. Um, I believe we've won the cleanest city. Yes, in the three state. times. Three times. Well, yeah. twice at, twice for state and one time for just the region. And actually, actually judging is happening tomorrow. So everybody, clean up your yard. <laughs> clean up your yard. Uh, put your put your trash cans back by your home. Make sure everything looks very pristine because we really like to take that honor. And then again, <laughs> we were named the Budan Capital of the World, which is how the Budan Festival actually got started. So yes, and the um, the Acadiana Art Capital. I believe so. Yeah. And so we have a little art thing every Saturday morning where we have our galleries open and they love to have people come and look at all of our nice We have a lot to offer art. in such a small place. Yes. We have a lot of honors and awards for such a small place. Boy, you sure made a mark on the calendar. I'm sure there, I've guessed. Do you know uh, any of the guests, that, I mean visitors that came in at this particular point from far, far away? Right off is a lot of people from out, not just 
local. So it was a lot of out of town people, right? right? Well, yeah. we, 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 we actually caught somebody who was from New York that said he was looking for a really good festival and he would come back now every year. And that's actually in the story on the last page of our special. Okay, edition. well, I'm going to go ahead and close out the show and tell you this little town that uh, we had the honor today of having the recent queen of the Scott Boudin Festival current and queen. the current queen. The cur did I say recent? Yes. The current, edit, edit, the current queen of the Scott Boudin Festival. And uh, she has shared her heart, and we invite you every Tuesday night to tune in. It just might be you or Chelsea or Teresa that we're showcasing. Thank you for watching. Yay.